how often you have to change your brakes rather depends on how hard you drive the car. But whatever you do, one thing you must do every two years is check the quality of your brake fluid. And the reason for that is because it's hygroscopic and that means it absorbs water or moisture from the air or atmosphere. Now, this moisture can get in through the breather part of the cap or even the rubber parts in the brake system itself. And the reason it's a problem is all down to boiling point. Now, out of the box, DOT4 brake fluid has a minimum boiling point of 269 degrees centigrade, whereas we all know water only has a boiling point of 100 degrees centigrade. Now, obviously, that means that the more water you have in your brake fluid, the lower the average boiling point is going to be. Now, that becomes a real problem when you're steaming down some winding roads in the Alps, and, of course, you then come to prolonged braking, and what happens is your brake fluid is going to get hotter and hotter and hotter, and as soon as it reaches the boiling point, that liquid, which is non-compressible, is going to turn into vapor paper, which unfortunately is very compressible, and that means you're suddenly going to lose your brakes and then powering into a wall or off a cliff. Now, obviously, once the brake fluid has cooled down, that vapour will be reabsorbed into the brake fluid and your brakes will work again. But that won't really help you once you've actually stacked your car. So it's much better to be pre-prepared. And so therefore, we need to test our brake fluid to make sure its boiling point is within tolerance. Now, this clever little machine actually measures the boiling point of the brake fluid. So what I do is just untie all the wires get ready with that and I actually plug it onto the car's own power supply very handily we have our positive terminal there okay so we now have our go position and the idea is normally you would then place this into the reservoir now on this particular BMW there is actually a kind of a grid of plastic in the way so what we can do they've obviously thought of this so what they've handily supplied is a little pot here so, and then a pipette. So the idea would be that I will just go in and just take out a little bit of brake fluid, about quite a bit of brake fluid actually. So well, probably about three quarters full, I suppose. Then I just pop our little machine in, make sure it doesn't overflow. And then I just hold this down and you can see it's starting to think about. So what it's actually now doing is trying to actually warm up the fluid to find its boiling point. And you can see it's just counting up. So 245 degrees centigrade. And it's saying there the minimum spec for dot three is 140, dot four, 155, and 5.1 is actually 180. So we are well within spec, which means everything's all good. Fantastic.